Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, October 15th. I'm Gary Ryan for the Fed League Flash, and the first weekend is in the books. We have ourselves uh, now three games uh, under our belt, and uh, the season is off to uh, a very intriguing start. So uh, I'm just uh, doing things out here because my back's a little squirrely this morning. But, okay, so here is the board, and uh, I'll try and hold it as steady as possible here. All right, so we start off last night, uh, as we recap games in Binghamton. Uh, both of these games were technically at the same time. However, Danbury had an elongated introduction. Obviously, they wanted to uh, have the, uh, the banner raising uh, for, you know, celebrating last year's cup win and, uh, you know, don't blame them, uh, player introductions, all sorts of, uh, festivities. So game got started a little later. So first game ended up being Elmira traveling to Binghamton. It's a seven, three victory for the black bears in a game that uh, overall wasn't even that close. Um, it was a pretty lopsided game, and I'm honestly a little surprised. I thought it was going to be a little bit more competitive. Uh, I did my preview yesterday, and I picked Binghamton winning 6-4 to four instead of 7-3. to three. So in goal, we had the true rookie, uh, Nolan Egbert, or Aggie as we're calling him, uh, uh, standing between the pipes for the Black Bears, and... For Almira, it was Spencer Kozlowski making his return. And even though he came up on the short end of the stick, we're going to talk about his stick later on. Um, it, it, he, you got to say this about him. Um, you know, he, he played on Delaware last year, faced a ton of shots, uh, saved 50, uh, 50 shots four times in 16 games and he saves 50 again last night so okay starting things off um it was connor smith getting the first goal of the game and uh binghamton's looking for big things out of him uh of course he joined the team late last year uh at the end of march as a college graduate and has already shown a lot of promise and a lot of skill he's a big kid and uh, so, anyway, uh, this is, you know, a good way for him to start off his career, um, as it was for uh, Nolan Egbert. All right, so uh, it was 2 nothing at the end of one period as, uh, as Smith's teammate in college, Brendan Stanko, he gets a goal. Uh, before Connor even got that first goal, though, Kozlowski made what could already be the save of the year. Um, things were on his glove side, uh, and uh, he ended up uh, kicking out a shot, which uh, rebounded out to Connor Smith, who had the entire stick side, half of the goal open, and Kozlowski reached around with a stick, ended up spearing the puck out of the air, making the save. Uh, it was amazing, uh, and this is what we expected from Kozlowski heading into this year. It's one of the reasons why there is so much optimism for Elmira, uh, despite the uh, rough start last night. Uh, okay, in the second period, Kona Jackson ended up uh, notching the first goal for the River Sharks. Um, we had a second goal by Smith. Uh, Austin Thompson got a goal. Uh, Dustin Jesho got on the board. Um, so, you know, the game's getting out of hand. Kona Smith gets another one back. So we end up after two. It's five to two in favor of the Black Bears. Um, at this point, shots are 43 to 21. You could tell it was just going to be a very tilted game. Um, in the third period, Brandon Lucchese. Uh, gets Elmira to within two, but then not even a full minute later, uh, Thomas Ray gets his first professional goal for the Black Bears. 
and Tyson Kirkby ended up finishing off the scoring, and then things got ugly. Um, you know, the game's out of the reach. Elmira players are very frustrated. Um, Kodiak White Duck ends up coming off the bench to try and uh, 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 attack Kirkby. Uh, the ensuing face-off, um, Mark Poser just ended up uh, <laughs> jumping on Stanko's back. It was ugly. And the, and the whole melee, Stavro Soilis gets in, and he's he's ejected, um, as are the other two. He was given a third man in, um, and I don't know if he's going to face a suspension or not. Uh, he was in the middle of everything trying to be peacemaker, uh, Soilis, so I've got to give him creds for that. Um, he wasn't in there fighting. He was trying to pull players apart. Um, and uh, unfortunately, though... Uh, third man in. I'm not sure if that's a mandatory s- suspension or not. I would expect suspensions to both White Duck and Poser as well. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, all told, there were three uh, River Sharks and four Black Bears who ended up getting the gate in the uh, in the third period. So things got pretty choppy. Good crowd, um, over 4,000 watching the game. And Egbert gets his first professional win, uh, turning aside uh, 32 of 35 shots. Um, fear the egg. Uh, anyway, um, again, Kozlowski, a fantastic performance in spite of giving up seven goals. 54 saves, many of them spectacular. Um, Elmira did not lose the game because of Kozlowski. All right, so that uh, ended that game. Three stars of the game were Connor Smith getting two goals to assist. Uh, Kona Jackson got the second star with this two-goal performance for the River Sharks and Thomas Ray, a goal and assist in his pro debut. And so there we go. All right, so Strat ended up being 61-35 to 35, uh, in that game, very tilted game. But... Uh, So the other game, we go to Danbury, where it's the back end of a home-and-home between the Wolves and the Hat Tricks. Hat Tricks enjoying the celebration, and it really helped them uh, get fired up. Um, Nick DeNicola scores 14 seconds in uh, to give Danbury uh, the edge. Um, The only negative thing I have to say about this is... Whoever thought of white numbers on a white uniform for the Wolves was a good idea? Terrible. I'm sorry, but those unis got to go. Otherwise, back to the game. I've got to mention, this was the first time I've heard Doug Latuka with the play-by-play call. I thought he did a very uh, excellent job. Um, There were some technical sound issues, but as far as Latuka calling game, very knowledgeable, uh, very engaging, uh, really enjoyed uh, the work he did last night. So shout out to Doug and a good job uh, calling the play-by-play for the hat tricks. All right, back to the game. Um, 13 minutes in, um, uh, Stosevsky ends up uh, with his first goal of the year. And he had a phenomenal game. Um, Initially, uh, he was credited with two assists, but one assist was taken away. uh, But he was engaged in the play. So um, it's 2-0 Danbury. And uh, the shots in the first period, 14-8. A little lopsided, but not too bad. Um, Get to the second period, and things get chippy. The, The second period was... Uh, in a word, ugly. Lots of fracases, lots of uh, headbutting and uh, grappling and fighting. Trevor Lord gets the gate. Um, and you know, after the great game that Lord had on Friday, that was a big loss. Uh, fortunately, the Wolves had their other uh, big player from Friday night, Tate Leeson, took over the game, ended up, uh, <laughs> he had taken a, a high stick to the face earlier in the game, goes to the locker room, comes back, 
and scores an unassisted goal at 1937 to make it a two to one game. And at this point, the uh, shots are 28 to 17 in favor of Danbury, but the Wolves are still very much in it. And then early in the third, Leeson scores another unassisted goal. So Leeson's already got four goals. So he and Lord are tied for league lead with four goals. Um, and uh, so anyway, the Wolves claw their way back. It's two to two. And then the roof caves in on the Wolves. And uh, the hat tricks just turn it up, uh, found themselves a, a higher gear and poured it on. Three goals in a span of a minute and a half. Uh, first, Johnny Ruiz scores unassisted at 6.32. Uh, just a few seconds later, uh, Michael Civic uh, gets his first professional goal. And uh, that was also set up by uh, Stosevsky. And then Jacob Radcliffe adds the third. And uh, so... There we go. Ends up five to two. Uh, the Wolves just never really recovered after that brief onslaught. Johnny Ruiz's goal ends up being the game winner. Big surprise. You know, team captain, uh, team leader in everything ends up with a game winning goal. Uh, Frankie McCondon, uh, after uh, a rough night, Friday night, settled down as I expected he would. Uh, saved 22 of 24. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of work, but when he needed to make the big save, he did. And uh, Josh Rosenvig, uh, again, in goal for the Wolves. He takes the loss. Second night, surrendering five goals. So um, uh, he, he still made several uh, very impressive saves, especially uh, just uh, flinging legs out and kickouts. Uh, it was It was fun to watch. So Danbury uh, gets revenge, 5-2 win for the Hattricks. So both the Wolves and the Hattricks, of course, are 1-1 one one on the year. And Binghamton is 1-0, and Elmira 0-1. So there's your standings because, of course, there were no games from Continental Division teams. Three stars of the game. Uh, Johnny Ruiz gets first star with the 1-1 one one plus the uh, game-winning goal. Uh, Stosevsky gets second uh, golden assist, and then Tate Leeson ended up with third star with his two goal performance. Uh, Leeson played very inspiring hockey, uh, in spite of you know, being on the short end. But uh, so anyway, there we go. So that's our games, and uh, yeah, that uh, that'll do it. That is our sum up for this week. Um, coming up this next week. Monday through Thursday, we're on Spotify. Um, I've decided in the future, not this week, but starting next week, uh, I'm going to do power rankings. Yes, I'm going to wait until those murky waters because we know how uh, strongly people can uh, have opinions about where teams should be ranked and all that. But again, it's subjective. So I'm going to do it anyway, but not this week since none, you know the Continental Division teams haven't played. I want to wait till everybody's played uh, before I do power rankings. All right, so tune in Monday through Thursday on Spotify. If you don't have Spotify, get it. Follow me there, Fed League Flash. Um, for here, for YouTube, we're here on the weekends. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. And um, you, know, you can watch Facebook, uh, see if I do a live video when there's a lot of news coming up. I'll post it. Otherwise, I'll just type things out. One other thing I forgot to mention. Uh, it was a con uh, uh, communication with Sarge. Um, the roster that is posted on Elmira's site is not correct. Uh, they are down to the, the, the league required limit. Uh, somehow communication broke down between um, Elmira and the team site. So, uh, and the league site as well. So, um, no, Elmira does not have 28 players on the roster. Um, and that's going to get remedied somewhere over the course of today. Uh, everything will be posted correctly. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This is Gary Ryan for the Fed League Flash. We will talk to you again tomorrow on Spotify.